I'm Janice from Aussie Felt and today I'm here with my granddaughter Emma and we're going to be making personalised patches that she can put on her jeans or her jackets and um, she, Emma's never done uh, felting before so it's a good opportunity to do a tutorial. So we're going to get started. Because water's involved in this process, the, the first thing you need to do is to put down a towel so to absorb any water. You need a felting roller. In this case, we have a very small one, which is plastic, and it's got rough edges to um, help the fibers knit together. First of all, Emma is going to cover that with white wool merino toppings. And this is how you do it, very gently. You need to cover across, And she'll continue doing that until she's covered the whole of the square. After which she's going to go the other way. So what happens when she starts going the other way, then I'll say she's covered that that way, now she's going to cover the rest in. She's going to go down her piece to, to, to make sure it fills in absolutely with her white merino toppings which as I said before, is going to form the backing. Now if you want um, thicker, you have to pull out bigger pieces, but because this is for um, a patch, she won't need the felt to be too thick. <clears throat> Emma's going to cover in her second color now. Mm -hmm. um, I've no idea what her design is going to be, so it's a job unfolding. So she's going to go across now with her second color. fills this in <clears throat> she's making sure that she can't see anything of her rolling board if because if she doesn't she'll get um, holes in her felt where she can see the color of the white color through that doesn't always matter but um, it's best if you can just see the solid color that she wants to have and do you want to um, uh, make it a little bit more solid in your colour? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, really because of that, you, I suggest you go cover over down okay. now. Just while Emma's working there, um, there are lots of other um, colours that you can get. It's all Australian Merino wool and there are uh, various suppliers on the internet that you can look for. There are also kits available, which I'll talk about at the end of this tutorial. There we go. To the second stage in the felting process, Emma, and you've got to cover over your work with some tutu felt or netting. That's what you need in a square that's a bit bigger than your job. Okay. You're also going to need a bottle of warm water with just a little squeeze of um, liquid soap. Um, the next stage after that you'll need some olive oil soap but to start with Emma's going to start the felting process by using the tutu net and the, and the warm water not hot water just warm water so Emma's gently squeezing her water over over the netting she's pressing down as she goes and this takes just a little while she's got to saturate the wool underneath at the same time she doesn't need to disturb it too much so that it lifts up you can press a little bit harder as okay. you go yes okay now emma's going to remove her, her tutu very gently making sure it doesn't pull up the threads too much you can just press them down if it does to put on your design. Emma's now mixing some colours together for her third design. What do you think you'll do for your fourth one, Emma? Um, I think I would like to blend some more colours together to right. see how that goes in the felting. So I just might do some circles and just okay. squiggles. Okay, that sounds good. Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Very colourful. Emma's 
well into her, her fourth design now. When she's finished that, she's going to cover that over again with the tutu. onto the design. So it's a good idea to do it like that. That's good. Excellent. Okay. Now just a quick bit more water over the whole thing. Do I need my hand yeah, over Yeah, just there? gently over there. You can either do this with your hands or you can do it with this. Okay? Yeah. And you just rub very gently, very, very gently. So what does this do? Going over. That helps the fibers grab together. Okay. okay. So if you like to do that very gently. When this rubbing, that makes sure your design is going to adhere to the rest of your base felting. Now when Emma's done this just for a little while, then get yourself some soap. Now the best soap for felting is olive oil soap. And this is just a little bit of olive oil soap that Emma's going to use next to get some more lava onto. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Now, so you're going to do it now with your soap. You're going okay. to probably, you might want to just wet your hand a little bit to get your soap yeah. to felt up to make sure that her design fibers are coming through the tutu. Like that. 
then, because your felt shrinks the way you roll, you're going to turn it and then roll it the other way. And roll it the other way. Now it's quite good, it will come up on its own without falling apart. And you're going to do that now that way. Okay. So you roll it. Try and roll it as tight as you can. this for quite some time now so we'll return when she's got through this process because she's going to have to go about 50 times each way <laughs> I see your face to get it to felt properly okay, so you take... okay well, I think that should be about enough rolling there although yeah. one flower hasn't gone on you can always take that down now what you've got to do is turn your felt over and you've got to roll it from that way as you did before, roll it up and agitate it again. And you don't have to do that so many times, probably just go around each side and rub it. we're going to steam dry it with an iron. Okay, jolly good. Now I'm just going to pat it. Dry. So this is my finished of the four different designs. Um, I'm pretty happy with my first go and so I think maybe later I might stick some of these like beads on but for now I'm just going to start cutting You'll see the felt cuts quite easily. Um, I did say to Emma before that she can actually put some backing on that if she wants it to be a bit firmer. She could machine some backing on before she actually uh, puts it onto a jacket or wherever she wants to um, add, a, add her felt to. So I've just done three weeks, so three circles and a square. <laughs> um, so there's just like a little peach, cactus, lollipop and just some squiggles, really. Well done Emma, it looks really, really good. Really good. Thank you very much for felting with yeah, your name today. It it's been really good fun. <laughs> enjoyed watching this tutorial for wet felting patches with my granddaughter Emma. She's very happy with her first attempt at wet felting. If you want to do some wet felting yourself, uh, you can find um, some kits on my Etsy shop, Aussie Felt. Um, I've just developed a new kit for patches which includes the sufficient rules and instructions to make these um, patches but of course you can make your own designs. Also available is a kit wet felting for children which enables children 7 plus to make a beautiful